Hello there and welcome to EDL 689 Educational Leadership Literature Review. Uh, I'm your instructor for the course, uh, Michael Barber, and um, I'm going to take you a little bit through the syllabus here now. I'll go over some of this when we meet for the first time on Monday the 25th of January, but I want to give you a bit of a preview here, probably a little bit more detail here than what we'll go over in class, so that way you can begin to work your way through this content and have a sense of the expectations for this course. So as you can see uh, from the beginning here, basically um, a couple of things I want to point out up at the top here. Uh, the first is uh, note that the course syllabus is a general plan. Um, there are the possibility that um, we know we'll need to make changes throughout the course, um, oftentimes due to the schedule. So note that while there is a schedule in place that has us meeting um, I believe it is 10 of the 13 classes. For those of you that are, you know, have to plan childcare and other things around uh, your courses, I would plan to have um, arrangements for childcare for all of the classes for this particular course, knowing that there may be a couple of times and you would know a week or two in advance that you wouldn't need those. Uh, the reason I say this is because obviously this is a spring semester course and the spring semester often brings with it unexpected weather, um, so there may be times when we have to cancel class due to weather and if that ends up being the case obviously because we have a little bit of leeway in um, when the content is being covered it would necessitate us meeting during one of the times that um, the class is currently not scheduled to meet so again while uh, you have the schedule here in the syllabus and in blackboard what i would strongly encourage that you do is to make sure that you have um, arrangements so that you are able to be available for class every single monday throughout the semester um, and we will know usually a week or two in advance that we will not be meeting on a specific time. I would hope that it will follow the schedule that we currently have planned, but again, that is a plan, and uh, we may need to deviate from that depending upon how things play out. A uh, couple of other things up front here. You'll note that uh, my contact information is there. I'm in the office on Mondays and Wednesdays, which are essentially before my two sections of EDL 689 meet. Um, or we can make an appointment um, to meet either in Oakview or at another location, depending upon whereabouts in the state you're coming from. And um, classes we have are Mondays. They are from 4.30 to 7.10, and they're going to be located in 182 Oakview. Um, so moving through, you'll note that uh, you know the course description and the course outcomes are here as well as the research course sequence. Now I want to talk a little bit about the research course sequence. So essentially there is a three course thesis sequence that you are now embarking upon. The first course in that sequence is 689, the Educational Leadership Literature Review course. And in that course essentially you are going to construct what will become chapter two of your eventual thesis. Now obviously it won't be the final draft of your chapter two. You're going to continue to revise that throughout the entire process, but essentially you will have a complete and a almost final draft of chapter two by the time you finish this course. The second course that you will take is EDL 690, Educational Research Seminar. In that course, essentially, you are gaining a background in the research methodologies, the data collection methods, the methods of data analysis that you will need in order to actually plan out and eventually conduct a research study. Um, the outcomes for that course will have you essentially writing what will become chapters one and three of your eventual thesis. So in the first two courses you will do initially chapter two of your thesis and then you will do chapters one and three of your thesis. So by the time you finish 690 you will have the first three chapters of your thesis completed. The third course in that sequence is EDL 691 which is just titled Thesis Seminar. Um, essentially what that is is we will do a little more work 
on looking at collecting data and actually implementing your research study. Because essentially during 691, that is when you will be actually collecting data for your thesis. You'll be analyzing that data. You'll be writing up that uh, those results in Chapter 4. And then you'll be concluding the study and recommending implications for practice as well as suggestions for future research in Chapter 5. So in 691, you'll actually be doing Chapters 4 and 5 so that by the end of this three-course or 12-month sequence, you will have your entire thesis, all five chapters, completed. Uh, so for those of you that are starting here now in the spring semester, you will do 690 during one of the summer semesters, and you will do 691 during the fall semester. Um, continuing on, you'll note that the textbook for the course is Fink's Conducting Research Literature Reviews from the Internet to Paper. Um, the fourth edition is the one that I've recommended. There is a fifth edition that is out. In all honesty, the third edition is almost as good. So if you have access to or are able to get the third, fourth, or fifth edition for cheap, I would recommend that any of those three editions are perfectly acceptable. So again, the third, fourth, and fifth. And you know whichever one you're able to obtain, um, at you know the price that is right for you that would be fine there's another one that's recommended there and both of these are available through the Sacred Heart University uh, bookstore um, the recommended one is one that in all honesty in past semesters it has been a required text but um, it's been one that students, some students have found it really useful, other students have found it not that useful at all. So because of that, I've moved it into the recommended category. Um, what I suggest that you do is I'll have copies of these during the first class so that you can sort of size them up and see what they look like. And if it looks like something you think may be useful to you, then it might be worth uh, you know picking up a copy. But if it doesn't look like it's going to be all that useful to you, then that's perfectly fine as well. There will be some other readings that are available in Blackboard for you. Um, and I'll have all of the PDFs of those should actually already be in Blackboard right now. So continuing on, you're looking through here now the different ways in which you're going to be evaluated. I'll have a little bit more to say about each of these when we get to them. But, um, you know, this gives you sort of an initial introduction, and when we get to the schedule uh, following this, you'll see when they're all due. But the first assignment is going to be a literature search strategy, which is a very short assignment that's more designed to essentially get you into the literature. The journal article review is a way of formally reviewing uh, two articles, one that's quantitative in nature, or that uses quantitative data. Uh, one that uses qualitative data. Uh, so those are the two, and essentially it's going to be a very structured, but also, if you know, very short. 350 to 500 words is about a page to a page and a half. Moving on, the next assignment is the annotated bibliography. Uh, and you'll note that all of these here are, in terms of value, are relatively light. The annotated bibliography, again, is something that is designed to get you into the literature in a systematic way and to essentially help prepare you, uh, giving you essentially the data or the evidence that you need for your literature review. The main assignment for this course, obviously, is the literature review, which is your chapter two for your thesis. And then there are some activities that we will do either in class or online uh, that won't be graded individually, but you will essentially get a, a grade at the end of the course for that. Note some of the assignment notes that are here, as well as some of the course policies. Some of these are consistent that you should probably see in every syllabus that you get. Uh, others are specific to this course. Uh, one that I will point out, um, if you do have a, a specific learning need or a disability, I would encourage you to contact our Office of Special Learning Services and uh, you know register um, what accommodations you may need with them and they will get in contact with me and I'm more than happy to work with you and the center or sorry and the office 
to um, you know make whatever accommodations we need to in order for you to have success in this course. Uh, some information there about the academic integrity policy, about plagiarism, and as well about the free and open exchange of ideas. The last thing that, or the last main thing that's in here is the um, the schedule, and you'll note that um, there are readings starting off from the very first class. Uh, so you'll note, for example, that when you come in on the 25th of January, I'm expecting that you will actually have this first article read. Um, note that by the second class, which is the 1st of February, you need to have the first chapter of the Fink textbook read, which essentially means that you need to pick that book up relatively quickly. Um, you know, you'll also note there that our second class, instead of meeting in the classroom, so that class on the 1st of February, instead of meeting in the classroom, we're actually going to be meeting in the library over on main campus. Now, because parking can be a little bit more of a challenge on main campus than what it is at Oakview, um, class will begin that night at 5 p.m. instead of 4.30 That'll be the only time the semester that class begins a little later. If you want to avoid having to park over on main campus, what I would recommend is that if you there is a shuttle that goes between Oakview and main campus and it arrives at Oakview at approximately quarter after and quarter of. So around 4.15 and around 4.45. The 415 bus, or the one that's about 415, sometimes it's a few minutes before, sometimes it's a few minutes after, will arrive at main campus at 430. Now, where it drops you off, which is in front of um, the main academic building there, that's probably about a three or four minute walk to where our classroom is going to be up in the library. Um, if you catch the f bus that will arrive at Oakview around 4.45, you'll actually arrive at the main academic building around 5 p.m. So if you do that, you'll be actually a little bit late. Um, but if you do want to avoid uh, parking on campus, because it can be a challenge parking on main campus, um, you can take that shuttle, and I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, when, class, when we meet for that first class on the 25th. You'll note that the third week, or the 8th of February, is when the first assignment is due. That's when that literature research search strategies assignment is due. The following week is when your journal articles are due. The following week after that is when your annotated bibliography is due. So after that class in the library, we've got three weeks where there are three assignments that are due, and they're all due essentially one week after another, but they're all essentially designed to get you prepared to be able to write your thesis, or that at least the chapter two, the literature review portion of your thesis. And you'll note that starting shortly after that is when we start getting drafts on the thesis. So while right now we're planning to meet on the 29th of February, you'll note that we are right now not planning to meet on March 7th. And again, I'll caution you that if you need to make specific arrangements, uh, you know, for childcare or for you know being able to leave um, work early or what have you uh, for class, I would still plan at least at this stage to be available for to come to class on the seventh of March because we don't know what you know January and February are going to bring. So if we do happen to miss one of those first six classes, obviously the content would get pushed back a week, so we would end up meeting on the seventh of March. As it stands right now, if everything goes nicely, we won't meet that week. But again, I would play it safe. We would obviously likely know by at the latest the 29th um, because, you know, if we haven't missed any classes in those first six classes, then we know that we don't have to come for the seventh one uh, because that's a week essentially that I want you primarily writing because you'll note that the following week, which is March 14th, is when the initial draft of your literature reviews do. Now, by initial draft, I essentially mean the first eight to 12 pages of the 20 to 25 pages that I'm going to ask of you. So essentially, I want the, the first half of it written by the 14th of March. Then you'll note right now on the 21st of March we're not meeting again because again that's a week that um, at least right now we're planned to not meet and again I would 
caution you about being available for that just in case. Um, because the main reason we're not meeting that week is because you'll note that on the 28th is when, which is the following week, is when I want the first complete draft of your literature review done. So you're going to have all 20 to 25 pages of your chapter 2 done, at least in first draft format, by the 28th of March. So that way I can um, you know, review it for you and provide you with feedback. You'll note that we meet again on April 4th. As it stands right now, and this likely won't change, is on the 11th we won't be meeting, but I do recommend for folks that if you are at that stage of the game still struggling with your literature review, if you, um, you know, if trying to get that draft on the 28th was like pulling teeth and you've gotten the feedback from me probably sometime between the 29th of March and the 4th of April and you're looking at that feedback and you really just don't know where to go, you're lost, you, you're essentially not making progress in getting a final draft done, that's the week at some point I'm going to recommend that, strongly recommend that you meet with me individually um, during that week of the 11th. And then our final class, which we will be meeting, is on the 8th 18th of April, and that is also when your final draft of your literature review is due. The syllabus finishes up with a few um, resources or essentially additional books uh, that you may find useful in terms of writing literature reviews. So, you know, if you wanted to check these out from the library or see what they're running for on Amazon. Um, you know, these are all additional resources that I've used in terms of creating the content of this course, which also means that it may be useful for you in terms of actually, um, you know, preparing your own literature review. So that's essentially the syllabus. If you've got any questions, uh, come with them or, or bring them with you when we meet on Monday, the 25th. Uh, otherwise, I will. Uh, you know, you can email me leading up to the 25th if you have any burning questions that you'd like answered before we actually meet. Until then, I will uh, see you in about a week.